Hi YouTube, it's Wes Koya. What I got here is the Dell Dimension 8400, which doesn't appear to turn on. I'm pretty sure I've already figured out what the problem with it is, but I just thought I'd make a quick video anyways. Um, these things are fairly common. They're very loud machines, kind of like an overweight brick right now. I mean, they're not really that useful. They can't really run a YouTube video even. They're basically just very heavy paperweights, and I'm pretty sure... Um, the noisy fan in this thing and the power supply possibly stopped working causing the thing to need a new power supply because I'm going to demonstrate what's wrong with it right now. Alright, so you plug the cord in the back as I'm doing right now. Let's plug the iPhone charger out and plug in the cable to the computer. I thought the lights just flickered for a sec when I plugged that in. But I can guarantee you that it's not going to turn on. See? Now if I got my screwdriver here, some of you guys out there might be saying that it's the uh, gigahertz switch or whatever. So right there. So just to satisfy all you uh, people that think that's the case. I'm going to just use my screwdriver to uh, flip it over if I can. There we go. It's flipped over. Plug it in. I can guarantee you it's going to get the same thing. Go over the front. Press the power. Nothing. Not even a green light. So, just unplug this. And I'll come back to you guys once it's opened. Alright, so I proceeded to opening up the uh, case to the computer, and obviously, as I suspected, there's no damage to the capacitors that are on the main board. So, you know, my first assumption looked pretty accurate as the power supply being dead, so I um, decided to just open it up, which I did, obviously. And the weird thing is, with these Dell computers, is the capacitors are usually the issue. But when I open this up, it doesn't look like the capacitors are you know, blown at all. None of them are. So, I don't know. Might be a transistor or something, but I noticed that one of these big capacitors over here at the other side of the power supply, this one looks fine. But this one, I don't know if you can tell or not, but it looks a bit bulged. Which is very odd. I mean, you can see a little tiny bit. It's very hard to tell, unless you're looking at it in real life, but this one looks a bit bulged. So... Yeah, I'm assuming that's the problem. And these things aren't really worth repairing, so I just wanted to see what the cause of it was. Which, I'm pretty sure it's that uh, big high voltage capacitor right there. And, you know, it's just, I don't even know, you'd have to buy a new power supply to even fix that, because those things are hard to come by. If it was just like a normal capacitor like this, it'd be easy to get them for like 5 cents off of eBay and put it in. But still, it wouldn't even be worth it because this thing's just a huge paperweight. So what I'm going to do is, you know, take out the hard drive, the disk drives, maybe the video card and soundboard, and then just junk the whole thing. Because I'm not keeping this, obviously. So, yeah, just a quick video to demonstrate how Dell sucks. And that's it. So, thanks for watching.